Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Power Stroke Maintenance here. Today I'm gonna to talk about what makes an aftermarket cold side pipe worth it and why you should get one for your 6.7 Power Stroke. So this video is gonna be a little bit of a hybrid review and an explanation. I am currently running the SMB cold side intercooler pipe, which you can see right here. Nice OEM fitment you can put in your airflow sensor right back in, really nice welds. The uh, machine work they did on this friggin' stacked dimes looks beautiful. And the bottom, if you can see that is a very heavy duty silicone boot. You know, it's not too expensive of an install. It's certainly a nice pipe. I actually had a problem with it because I installed it incorrectly and pinched my O-ring and so it actually resulted in me having a boost leak because it was really hard to get on this connection up here. So if you are gonna install this, just make sure that you're getting a little bit of lubricant and putting on the O-ring so this pipe will slide back on your intake nice and easy. Many of you may be wondering, what makes spending $300 on a pipe worth it if you are a power stroke owner and why are so many people talking about the need to replace this pipe well what can happen at higher boost pressures especially if you're tuning your truck or if you're towing a lot or if you're really getting after it is the bottom of the boot on the stock pipe so right down near your intercooler if you can see down in there where it plugs in that part of the oem ford pipe can actually burst under higher pressure and crack and cause a whole lot of problems and make your engine bay covered in oil. This issue did not happen to me personally, but I saw enough of it happening on online on other people's trucks and heard A-Rod talk about how important it was to replace the stock pipe. And so I did a preemptive strike and just replaced the pipe. And now I don't have to worry about the pipe blowing up on me if I end up running a lot of boost pressure or if that pipe just gets worn because the OEM pipe is like, when you pull it off, it's unreal how cheap it feels. It's very thin, flimsy. You think if you're putting 20, 30 PSI through that, there's no way it's gonna hold up. So in terms of increasing the reliability of your engine under higher boost pressures, this is definitely worth it. I would say in that respect, it is definitely worth purchasing and spending the 300 bucks to get this pipe for peace of mind. In terms of performance, I didn't notice any increase in power or gas mileage from doing this pipe. There really was no difference. I know it's supposed to flow better uh, than the stock pipe, which you definitely notice how much bigger it is than the stock pipe, but I did not notice any sort of improvement in power or miles per gallon. Now, granted, I am running the Ford OEM tune. I don't have a tuner on my truck. The truck is not deleted. So perhaps if you were tuning your truck and you really needed to make the flow count, you could do a cold side pipe and a hot side pipe. I still have the stock hot side pipe. I'll probably replace it at some point, but you don't really need it if you're not tuning these things and trying to make a lot of power. So because I'm running a stock configuration, this pipe just fixed the reliability issue of having your, your cold side pipe rupture and gives me peace of mind. And so that's worth it for me. In terms of performance, if you have a stock truck, I don't know, probably not worth, but it does look nice. It makes your engine bay look nice. So that's up to you with what you want to do with that. All in all, it's a great upgrade and a solution to a common problem with this motor, which is having the stock pipe burst under higher boost pressures. So I would say certainly worth it in that respect, less so for performance, but get that stock pipe off your motor, get something more heavy duty on and you'll be ready to rip. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Thanks for checking in. Let me know if you're not running the SMB pipe, what pipe are you running on your Power Stroke 67? Drop a comment below. Please subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.